Hello, it's a beautiful morning already here in Nigeria. Good morning and win today. My name is M. Tommy of Peace Ark Ministry. I'm so delighted to be in your midst this moment and to speak with you. Please subscribe as we continue. God bless you. So I've heard a whole lot of people saying that uh, Mama Evelyn Joshua have destroyed the synagogue of all nations, will destroy the synagogue of all nations. I've seen a whole lot of stuff. We don't work by sight, we work by revelation. He said, remember what daddy said, he said, if you have faith, your mind will be at rest. All of us right now are troubled because our mind is not at rest because we don't have faith. If you have faith, your mind will be at rest. Faith is the word of God. Nothing takes God on our way. And God can use anything and anybody to fulfill his will. Mama Evelyn Joshua has no power to destroy this marriage of all nations. The square is bigger than her. The Mano TV family is bigger than her. So she can't destroy that family. Alright? So let me make my point here. And I'm going to make a biblical point. Let's open up to the book of Matthew. Chapter 16, verse 18. And I tell you that you are Peter. And on this rock I will build my church. And the gate of hell will not prevail. The only time she can destroy Squan is if that church is not of God. If, if that church is not built... The foundation is not founded in God. Anybody can, anybody can destroy it. Don't forget what Daddy used to say. God cannot maintain what He has not formed. So if He is the one that formed it, He will maintain it. What I'm saying is, essence is, God did not say, I will build your church. He said, I will build my church. Nobody has the power to build. So she can only destroy if that church is not founded in God then she can destroy it because she is the one that built it. She is the one that formed it. But if she's not the one, whatever you see happening, God is using her to perfect his will because he said, I will build my church. The church is not the auditorium. It's not the gallery. It is the people. That means I will gather my people together and nothing will stop it. I will bring them from far and near. Whatever we will see at the end of the day, it is the will of God. It's not brought to pass by Mama Evelyn Joshua. If, for example, as is purported, mommy is mischievous and wicked as everybody are purporting and she wants to perfect the will of the Lord, God will remove her from there. God has a way of removing her and do what he wants to do. Nobody can stop the work of God, not even Satan, except he doesn't want to do it. My faith is on him that he will build his church and the gate of hell will not prevail. He will build the square, he will build the minority, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. That's point one. Point two. Now, this is a question. Who anointed Prophet T.B. Joshua? <laughs> Who prepared him to start ministry? Everyone is ordained by God. The anointing is from God, the grace is from God. He can use anybody the way he wants to do it. Look at the way everybody are jealous of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Because he was so anointed in a very unique way that people cannot, in any way, people cannot fathom, people cannot comprehend what this man is doing. Yet, he can't point to any spiritual father that anointed him. He can't say, this person anointed me. He can't say, this person laid hand on me. I don't even you understand all these things. Let's look at the book of Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter 1. Listen to what God told Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 5. Okay, let's start from verse 4. Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 4. The word of the Lord came to me saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to nations. You are ordained from the womb. That means that God knew what was about to happen. He knew everything. And he has ordained people already to take on this job. So please, I don't want you to start feeling that if he's not such a person, he's not a person. No. The moment you do that, that means they become God. That means someone can wake up and say, ah, if I am not a synagogue of all nations, he cannot stand. If he's not us, he cannot stand. And it's going to cause a bigger problem than this. Nobody can take the glory of God. When Elijah was complaining that there was no other prophets again, God said, I have people around. I have remnants. And he went to anoint Elisha. Elisha wasn't a prophet. But it was this time to me. And when the time came, it was unveiled. So please, let's be calm and see what God is about to do. Don't judge anything, don't judge anybody. 
the only time you will complain, the only time you will have the permission to complain and say anything is ah, this church is not founded in God. Uh, then you have the, compl- the right to complain and say this woman can destroy the church or whatever you want to say. But outside that, he will build his church and the gate of hell shall not prevail. And definitely, he will rest men and do what he wants to do. And as a matter of fact, God can use anybody and he needs obedient people to work with. If our daddy wasn't obedient to God, he wouldn't have been where he was. Alright? And the third point I want to make is, let's read the book of James chapter 1 verse 19. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Many of you already have judged Mommy Evelyn Joshua about this matter. Have you heard from her? Have you heard her own part of the story yet? Already you have called her wicked. You say she's mischievous, she's the devil, she has scattered. Have you heard from her? You only hear one side of the story, not even from the people that are involved, from others, and you're judging her. Wait and hear from her first before you say she's wicked. Wait and hear from her first before you say that she's mischievous. Wait and hear from her first before you say she has scattered everything. Let's speak scripture. Let's talk scripture. Let's meditate scripture. That's the only way we can have rest and be steady in this unsteady world. The word of God. I am loyal to my father, Prophet T.B. Joshua, and to the synagogue of all nations and the manual TV. Whatever will be the outcome, I will stand till the end of time. That's my Whatever will be the outcome at the end of the day, my decision is I don't care. Whatever comes out, I accept it that way. I will continue to be loyal till the end of time. So if you're loyal to daddy, you have to be loyal to mommy and whatever he has left behind. It's a mystery. Something, what is happening right now is a mystery that we can't understand. Don't forget, what people understand, they destroy. What they don't understand, they call names. So don't be part of them. Good morning and a win today. Peace. God bless you.